welcome back and if you're new here i welcome you i have a bath and body works unboxing video that i would love to share with you all i had three boxes that were delivered today these orders were orders placed on the first day of semi-annual sale i believe one order may be an order prior to christmas day so i also got word that my local bath and body works got in the new bakery body care line so I did have some time to swing by there to pick up some items from the new body care line so I'm really excited to share these items with you all I really hope you guys enjoy this let's just get started And it looks like these are pocket bags. Um, ew. So this is really gross. I don't know what's going on with the way they're shipping the pocket bags. Like the packages have really been gross. I received pocket bags that actually have been spilling out. But um, definitely going to sanitize my hands after this. Look how gross the packages look. Like you can't even see through this one. But I did place an order for some pocket bags. And this was for the crushed candy cane scent. And this one just kept selling out so fast every time I would try to place an order for a crushed candy cane. Like, I could never get it. It constantly uh, canceled my order. So, I finally were, was able to get my hands on the crushed candy cane. Really excited about that. And that's the packaging. It's really cute. And I really like this scent compared to Twisted Peppermint. Twisted Peppermint is much louder and you've got more of a vanilla scent. This one just smells like literally like crushing up a candy cane. It's um, more, it's definitely more of a milder mint and you don't get any vanilla. So it's just a mild sweet mint and I really do like that. So I picked up the pack of five, uh, two packs of five, and these were $6 each. Let's open up this next box. Okay, so what we have is the Aromatherapy Sleep Lux Bubble Bath in the scent Chamomile Bergamot. And you guys have heard me rave over their Lux Bubble Baths. Uh, this actually was a freebie. I redeemed a free reward up to an item, any item up to $16.50. So, um... Anytime I see these, I really go for the Lux Bubble Bath because I'm a bubble bath girl. And the formula, as you can see, is really thick. It's really nice, nicely concentrated. So you get nicely concentrated bubbles in your bath. It's very nicely scented. And the chamomile bergamot scent, I do like. This is a newer scent. So it's very um, more like floral tea smelling um definitely citrusy due to the bergamot but it's so relaxing um and what you have is chamomile oil bergamot oil and it's just ultra relaxing and i love this stuff so uh this actually did go on sale during semi-annual sale i'm not sure if it's still available but it was 50 percent off so uh, i would watch the website during semi-annual sale for this one because i do remember it being marked down so I definitely wanted to pick up that as a free reward. I think those are excellent products. Okay, so on to this other box, which is pretty heavy. These are actually candles. This order was placed, yeah, prior to Christmas. So what I came across online, I was shocked when I seen these pop back online. And this is the Winter Clove Three Wick Candle. And I hadn't seen this online for quite some time. 
you guys can check out my review of winter clove it is a gorgeous it's one of the beautiful candles for christmas in my opinion um i'm not sure what this collection was called but this is such a beautiful candle the packaging is amazing um it's with the same collection with the vanilla snowflake and also there is another one i can't think of it right now but it's so so nice so this is the lid here and the notes are fresh ground cinnamon sugared apples rich vanilla bean with essential oil so um as I reviewed this candle, I mentioned that this, to me, I didn't smell any rich vanilla bean. I didn't smell any sugared apples. You do get the fresh ground cinnamon, though. So this is a spicy. Hmm, this smells like, it smells like, it's very nostalgic. It smells like the spices that your grandmother used to burn on the stove like boiled like boiled spices on the stove for like the holidays the cinnamon is definitely predominant in this candle oh, it smells so good it may have just a hint of apple there but i really don't smell much vanilla bean i don't smell any creamy vanilla at all I mostly get freshly ground cinnamon, but it's a beautiful holiday candle in my opinion. Um, it's just It just has those holiday spices, and um, I definitely wanted to pick up quite a few of these because to me, this is pretty unique. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five of the winter cloves. So I won't unbox these, they're all the same. But I did want to show you guys what the winter clove looks like. And I just don't see this very often on the website. And um, I do enjoy the scent. It's very cozy. It's very comforting for the holidays. So I actually purchased these at half. I believe they were half off. I believe they were like 12. Let's see. Actually, these were $13.95 each. So still a good deal compared to $24.50 a candle. Um, I have seen these pop back online um, here lately. I believe right now it's $24.50 on the website. So I definitely, if you're interested in picking this up, I would wait till we have a sale. But Bath & Body Works, they are known to snatch candles off the site. And um, some of your favorites you may not see for a while. So yeah, if you happen to see it, I do recommend Winter Clove if you're a person that loves the holiday type spice uh, winter candles. This one is a beautiful one. So now we're just going to move on to my in-store purchases. Um, I actually did a couple body care exchanges for the new body care. Um, the deal they were running in store was, I believe, buy three, get two free. So I did um, have a holiday gift card, and I also did a couple exchanges for some sprays. But yeah, I thought that I was really shocked and happy to see the new body care line. So I'm just really anxious to show that to you all. Okay, so here are my two bags from my in-store haul. I'm going to start with the smallest bag. And I did grab a 75% off one wick candle in the scent Island Reef. And this one is very tropical, island-like. It's not too sweet. It smells like clean seawater to me. So if you know what a reef smells like, um, it's definitely a summertime scent. It's very um, ocean sea-like with maybe just a hint of sweet. The actual scent notes is not on the candle, so I don't have any scent notes to show you. I apologize for that, but um, I currently don't have any Island Reef scented products in my collection. So when I came across this little one in store, I decided to pick it up because um, it was just three bucks and some change. So i um, really hoping that I enjoy the scent of this as I do on cold, so. 
I also came across some new three wick candles in store today. And the first one that I came across, I currently do not own this one. This one is the pink lilac and vanilla. And this is part of the collection with the bubbly rose and also the whipped coffee. And there's a couple more, but um, take a look at the packaging. It's super cute. You have some cupcakes and some flowers on the front sticker here. And the actual lid is so gorgeous. It's just a nice pink lid there. And the scent notes are fresh lilac bouquets, dewy greens, vanilla balsam with essential oil. So when I first smelled this on cold, oh my gosh, like I almost fell out again because this smells so good. It's a nice, sweet floral blend. So even if you're not a floral person, you would really like this one. It's very, it's more like a nice floral, powdery, feminine, vanilla scent. You definitely get a really nice, soft, powdery, I don't know what note that is that gives it that just sweet, feminine powder type um, scent note. But I do definitely get the vanilla. It's vanilla blossom and you do get the fresh cut lilac bouquet. So it's not a overpowering, um, flower type scent it's a very soft floral so this is a soft sweet floral and it is it does have a hint of freshness with the dewy green so i love this scent um, i actually ended up picking up two of these it smells amazing so oops here is the other pink lilac and vanilla i highly recommend this candle these are so cute this whole collection is just adorable and i really feel like once we have a sale these are going to go super fast um they had just put the pink lilac and vanilla out they hadn't even put them on the shelves yet so i asked if i could sniff this one because it's actually my first time ever smelling pink lilac and vanilla and I instantly fell in love. So this is a beautiful candle, um, definitely one for spring, very feminine, floral and sweet. So I highly recommend pink lilac and vanilla. If you happen to come across that, these are headed to stores for sure. I also picked up another new candle. This is in the scent Southern Magnolia. And this one may have to grow on me a bit. It is extremely floral. You have that gardenia, but you just get that silver tin lid. It's kind of just real boring in my opinion, but the packaging is really cute. It's, it's, it's more like spring-like. You have some like spring flowers on the bottom. And the scent notes are white gardenia, fresh magnolia blooms, lemon verbena with essential oil. So uh, the predominant note is definitely the white gardenia. It's a strong floral. So if you're not into florals, whew, this one may be a bit much for you. I mean, it's a bit much for me. And right now my fave, well, I thought my favorite floral candle was fresh cut lilacs. But the pink lilac and vanilla may just be number one now. <laughs> but um, Southern Magnolia, yeah, you get the Magnolia blend with the Gardenia. So it's definitely pungent. It's a pungent floral. Um, lemon Verbena, I don't know really what that smells like. This just smells like a heavily scented gardenia and magnolia candle. So I'm really hoping that uh, once I light this up that I really enjoy the scent, that it's just not too strong to be headache inducing. But on cold, I'm telling you it's pungent, so just beware. Um, but if you're a floral lover, you would really enjoy this one. Um, it is a good one. So I just picked up one of the Southern Magnolias. 
And I also picked up a 50% off candle, the banana walnut muffin. I really enjoyed this during the fall or the onset of fall when they released this one. This one has amazing throw. It's a nice sweet banana blend. And I like the pumpkin lids on these. Like it's really, really nice. The scent notes are sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin with essential oil. So you get that sweet banana and the nutmeg. It smells like what you see here, like a banana nut muffin. Um, very sweet, very cozy scent. If you come across that, I highly recommend that. Um, these are 50% off. And that's everything from that bag moving on to the bakery body care line i'm so excited to show you guys these so i'm just gonna make some room here okay so this one is not the ba bakery but um i did come across rose water and ivy and this scent the dry down is just beautiful like i had passed this up many times but i decided to go ahead and allow this to be part of my collection the scent notes are soft rose petals rain kissed ivy creamy sandalwood and this is a beautiful blend um the rose is really nice so it is a heavy rose and you get that ivy oh and the dry down the sandalwood is beautiful i don't know why i have been passing up this fragrance maybe because of the the pungent rose that you get but it really does soften on the dry down and you get more of the creamy sandalwood it's such a beautiful fragrance so i decided to pick this up and i adore this packaging here and this wasn't 75 percent off it actually was 50 percent off so um i picked up three of the rose water and ivies i think they're just absolutely beautiful it's a beautiful scent and um i actually tested this in store and let it wear on my skin for a while and it really does um work well with my body chemistry so i love that now i picked up the coconut cream pie bake shop body lotion and this one smells like a true coconut cream pie i definitely get that crust note it smells like a baked coconut cream pie so that's the best way i can describe that um if you like coconut cream pie you would love this scent on you <laughs> i do um here are the notes, toasted coconut flakes, caramel, custard, golden pie crust. Mmm, it's nice and creamy. It's not offensive. Nothing pungent about this scent. Just a nice creamy coconut pie scent. So I highly recommend um, that one if for coconut lovers. I also picked up the raspberry jam donut and the shower gel. And this one is my favorite scent from this entire collection. And the packaging is just super cute. The scent notes are wild raspberry jam, powdered sugar, warm fluffy donut. And the color is really cute. You just get a light pinky color. And I'm gonna give it a sniff. Oh, this smells so good. Yeah, this is my favorite scent out of the collection. Definitely a nice, sweet, ooey, gooey jam scent. Um, you get a raspberry jam and a hint of that, like, bakery donut scented. Um, it's like bread, like baked bread, more like a donut, like a sweet donut. It smells amazing. So... Um, definitely dessert like it smells like a raspberry jam dessert so um, I picked up a couple of the shower gels I also picked up the raspberry jam body lotion as well to match and here are the notes again and let's see in the body lotion, it smells the same, but I get more of the donut note. 
in the shower gel, I get more of the raspberry jam. So um, I think that's a good combination because you get more of the donut scent here and you get more of the raspberry jam scent in the shower gel. So I definitely want to smell more like the raspberry jam. So I'm going to stock up on the shower gels, but I do love the sweetness of the the lotion because the lotion has more like a sweet bready donut you still get the jam but it's more heavy on the donut note and i love that so so excited for this collection i'm just so stoked so here's another raspberry jam in the shower gel I also picked up the chocolate covered cherry in the body lotion and take a look at this packaging. Really cute. The scent notes are rich milk chocolate, red cherries, sweet liqueur. Now this one in the lotion, you definitely pick up that sweet liqueur. It has like, oh, it's so good. It's a, it's a liqueur richness and the cherry is definitely a milk chocolate cherry. Um, I get more of the milk chocolate and it's just blended really well with the cherry. It smells like a cherry cordial. So um, if you like cherry cordials, you would really love this scent. Um, it's growing on me more and more. Love it. Yeah, and you get the sweetness of the liqueur. It's very different compared to uh, Sugar Cherry Crisp, you still get that same cherry note. It's that same Bath & Body Works cherry note, but this one just has the milk chocolate and the milk chocolate is um, more predominant in my opinion. So I love that. So it's nice and milky and creamy. Oh, it smells like a cherry cordial. Okay, I also picked up the raspberry donut in the fine fragrance mist here. And it's really pretty. The packaging is gorgeous. And here are the scent notes again. So yeah, it just smells like the lotion and um, the shower gel. I did get a chance to test these in store. And here's the chocolate covered cherry mist. Very cute. And you've got the small cherries down there and the milk chocolate. Oh, this is so cute. So it says, let the aroma of an indulgent sweet treat take you away to the bake shop of your dreams. So yes. And um, the strawberry pound cake is also included in this collection. I have tons of strawberry pound cake in the previous packaging so I decided to pass on picking up strawberry pound cake. I really was just focused on these three, the chocolate covered cherry, raspberry jam donut, and the coconut cream pie. So I picked up two of the chocolate covered cherries in the fine fragrance mist and also two of the raspberry jam donut fine fragrance mist. Oh, actually, I picked up three of the Raspberry Jam Donut Fine Fragrance Mist because, as I mentioned, that, that one is my favorite scent from this collection. I also picked up the Body Cream and the Coconut Cream Pie. Um, oh, love this so much. It smells exactly like the Fine Fragrance Mist and the lotion. And here's the packaging. Just wanted to show you all that very cute love this bake shop collection i also picked up the travel mist in the coconut cream pie this is the only one that they had um, i didn't see the travel sizes in the other scents so they only had the coconut cream pie but it's so cute i love this okay and i also got the Fine Fragrance Mist in the Coconut Cream Pie. I just picked up one in the larger size and um, just one in the travel size. So just stick in my purse. 
And lastly, I picked up the Chocolate Covered Cherry Ultra Shade Body Cream. They actually, um, I was looking for the Travel Size Spray in the Chocolate Covered Cherry, but they didn't have it. But, um, I do want to pick up another in the Ultra Shade Body Cream. Um, I just like the shea moisture you get from the body creams however you get more of the fragrance from the lotions so i do want to pick up another and the packaging on this one is super cute you've got chunks of milk chocolate and the kisses like the hershey looking kisses on there so so nice i love this collection so yeah that's everything for my in-store haul today as well as my delivered boxes from Bath & Body Works. Comment down below if you've come across this in your local stores. What are you guys deciding to pick up? What scents appeal to you? I would love to know. And also be sure to turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. And also be sure to subscribe and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!